with me is one of the greatest stars of TV, radio, movies, and everything else, Woody Allen. Woody Allen is the proverbial Horatio Alger success story. He was born in Brooklyn and grew up there. He went to New York University, and while there, he wrote jokes for the comics. He later quit school to become a gag writer on a TV comedy show, and there he evolved into a stand-up comic at New York's bitter end. The rest is history. Woody now writes plays, movies, and anything else you can think of that's funny. He also does TV and nightclub appearances, and incidentally, stars in movies, too. Woody, thank you very much for doing the interview. It's very nice to see you here. Okay, we're in the kitchen of my home now, and uh, so if you hear any noise, don't let that throw you. Would you, con you consider this your home? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. What do you think uh, you'd be doing now if you'd not become a comedian? I'd uh, probably be a car thief, because it's one of my favorite things in the world to do, is steal automobiles. You you have a you always do that or is that uh, no I, I would have done it if uh, if oh, I oh that was the question right has success really changed you that much I mean are you still the same old I mean same guy that you were before you became famous uh, no I'm not I'm uh, much uh, nastier and uh, people that love me can't get me on the phone anymore <laughs> is that true uh, what about your wife she can't get me on the phone either I see <laughs> well now that you've become such a great star do you have any regrets at all as you look back upon your career. Um, only that I uh, was not born a Siamese twin. Oh, really? Yes. Well, <laughs> what would you change in your life if you were able to go back and change it? What would you? Would you change anything, or would you like sort of want to relive what you're doing right now? Uh, no. If I could go back and I had it all to do over again, I guess I would like to be an embalmer. Why? Uh, because it gives you a feeling of fulfillment uh, and a sense of um, filling people up. But you, you also get uh, wrapped up in your work, though, wouldn't you? Uh, yes, I would, and it would in it interest me very much. And I think if I had it to do over, I'd be an embalmer. Okay. Well, what do you consider the best thing about being a star, other than the money, of course? And well, other than the money, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's it. Uh, that seems to be the best part about it, yes. Okay, well, tell us a little bit about your childhood, because I know you must have had a lot of problems when you were a child, weren't you? Were you the obnoxious con when you were young, or...? Uh, no, that didn't come till later. <laughs> I see. I, uh, I was a very sweet kid, and uh, my parents beat me from the ages 2 to 17 inclusive. Why? Uh, uh, no, no, just because my father heard that exercise was good for the heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did it do him well, or what? Uh, yes, it did. He's uh, about 67 now, and he's got a very good heart. Well, I guess it helped. It seems to be material that your man played with many problems today. Is this your way of getting even with the world, by telling about your problems? No, I have no um, interest in getting even with the world. I just uh, tell jokes because uh, I'm hired to show up at a hotel or a nightclub and tell them. You have nothing, no grudge against the world then? Only that it's round. I'm upset about that. I would, Why? Uh, because I like uh, an elliptical world. Do you still believe the world's flat? Do you believe the no, 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 flat? I don't. I just, I would prefer, I wish it was. Or, or elliptical would be more interesting. Well, who are your favorite people? Uh, well, my favorite people in the world? Yeah. Um, gee, it's a very interesting question. Um, I don't know, I guess I would have to say, um, mm, uh, Shecky Green, the comedian, and, uh, I always liked Fatty Arbuckle. Well, he's dead, you know. Yeah, but I mean, his work. Oh, oh, I see. He's influenced me a tremendous amount. Has he? Yes. Well, I heard stories about him. Is that true? Uh, I don't know if they're true or not. I mean, I know I didn't know him, but <laughs> but his oh. work is interesting. Uh, I get a uh, tremendous amount of laughs the same way Fatty did. Oh, well, that's interesting. Are you are you caused by the world crisis today? Uh, does it affect you in any way, or are you just uh, merry old self, no matter what happens in the world? Oh, by the world crisis, oh, yeah, no. what are you referring to specifically? Well, things that are popping up, like the Vietnamese crisis in the Middle East. You know, all those things that are happening. What do you mean? What, what is the crisis in uh, Vietnam? What is the crisis? Yeah. Uh, well, we're there. That's <laughs> well, since when have we been there? Well, we've been there about three years, haven't we? Or four, or five. I lost count of it. Oh well, I, I, I'm not aware of the situation, so I would have to check it. Well, don't you keep up to current events? No, I haven't read a newspaper since about 1961. Then, I mean, how do you communicate? How do you find out what's going on in the world if you don't read newspapers? Uh, well, actually, I don't find out what's going on in the world. Well, then how do you do? You do topical things, don't no, you? Never. Oh, you don't? Never. Well, what, what kind of stuff do you do, then? Uh, I just come out and talk about things that have happened to me. Would you? Are you going to talk about this incident? Uh, well, not immediately, but perhaps someday. 
I hope so. Maybe uh, I'll get inside your act or something. Uh, there are rumors spreading about what a lady killer you are. Are they true? Yes, I'm extremely effective with women. How effective? Uh, as effective as you can possibly be and still be my height. <laughs> I have the same problem as you can see, but uh, <laughs> what do you do? What, has height been a problem? Because now we're about the same height. Now, do you uh, have an inferiority complex about your height? You know. Well, I'm five foot six, which is normal for my height, actually, so I don't feel too upset about it. Well, you're right. I never thought about that. Oh, uh, what would you do? What would you do if you were president of the United States? Now, think about that for a while. Uh, what would you change? Well, I would resign. <laughs> well, what would you do before you resign? Um, I, I don't know. I can only say as soon as I got the job, I, I would resign. Uh, because I, I like resigning. I like the act of handing in a letter that says, I'm sorry, but I uh, would like to retire. Well, you're so successful. Why should you want to retire? Uh, I don't know. I like the act of, of uh, leaving a job. Oh. Well, don't leave here yet. What did you, what did you think of Casino Royale? Now I saw you in that picture, and you actually you were the star of the picture, because at the end, little Jimmy, little Jimmy Bond was trying to take over the whole world, and uh, he want what was he going to do? Shrink all the men so that he'd be the tallest guy in the world? Is that what he was going to do? He was. I'll tell you the truth. I haven't seen the picture yet. Uh, yeah, I make it a practice not to really see pictures that I'm in for a long time, because uh, you know you get too subjective about them. But um, uh, yes, he was going to kill, destroy all the men o under or over five, six or something. I, I never did get the plot right, even while I was making it. <laughs> How long did it take you to make that? Uh, well, I shot for three weeks, but it took them years to make it. <laughs> uh, Woody, yes. would you like to make a uh, film version of Don't Eat the Water? Don't, don't drink, drink the drink, water. Drink. Don't drink the water. You don't eat water. In New York City, you eat the water. Rich, rich. <laughs> no, uh, I have no interest. If they want to buy it for films, they can. Uh, you know, but I have no particular interest. <laughs> well, what do you owe your success to, basically? Uh, tremendous uh, lack of perception on the part of the public. <laughs> why? Why would you say that? Well, you know, I've managed to fool them now for uh, four and a half years. Uh, but I think you're, you're quite funny. Right? You're not fooling anybody. See, I got you. <laughs> well, I guess you did. <laughs> no, so what are you starting? What's the person you got? You also wrote it. Are you working on a new film? I wrote a film called Take the Money and Run, which we're going to film uh, within the next year. And who's it going to star? Have you cast it yet? Or? Uh, well, I'm going to approach me on it, but I don't know <laughs> if I can get me. Why not? Uh, because I may be too expensive. Oh, how much are you going to charge? Um, I don't know yet. No, wait. Oh. It's, it's what, are you, what are your plans for the future now? Now that you've become a successful writer, produ uh, producer, and you've starred in the films and everything, what do you, what do you want to do? Uh, I would like to relive the past. Well, I just asked you that. You want to re Why would you want to relive the past? Well, I'd like to retrogress, because I don't like too much progress. You don't like progress? Yeah. In other words, you like to, well, well, what part of the time would you like to live in the past, if you had a chance? Uh, I would have liked to live in the dark ages, I think. Why? Of course, I think uh, with all those uh, barbarians roaming around the country and looting and raping, that uh, there was a good, a solid opening for a comic. <laughs> but nobody showed up? No. Uh, <laughs> what do you think you would have done at that time if you were there? Would you have made a big hit then, as you are now? I would have been sincere. They would have eaten me up. <laughs> do you really think so? Uh, I actually do. Woody, thank you so much for doing the interview. I really appreciate it. And I hope, I hope to catch you sometime in your movie or at the Americana. You know, are we going to be here again? Uh, yes, next year. Next year, definitely. Yes. Okay, Woody, take care of yourself. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye now. Much.